Hey guys, Tarek with Cyclone FPV. I've got a RMA here. I've got a, a repair, and this is really, really this this quad's been through some serious hell. Uh, so let me show you what I'm looking at here. Um, let me go ahead and do this here. This is a Recon Five that has been just beat up, and what really gets me about it, I guess, is the fact that where it snapped is exactly where you would expect it to snap. I mean, this is not very good at all. Um, so here's the deal. I mean, I don't even understand how anybody made this happen I don't I don't well never mind let me just let, I've got to be very careful too because this carbon fiber it's all splintered up now I mean this is really bad I, I can't even understand how I get that we want things to be lighter but this is lighter to the point where it's just cuckoo doesn't make any sense right so you're talking about the lightest piece holding the most weight so the thinnest piece of this frame is this piece right here and it is like what one and a half mil maybe uh, it looks at about one and a half, 1.4, 1.5 mil, I guess. I mean, let me just see if I can get a better, a little accurate. Uh, calipers may be off by about, so I'll give it 1.5. So that's 1.5 mil, and it's exactly where it snapped, which means if you look at this, I mean, forget that it's pushed it out a little bit, but if you're looking at it, you've got about two and a half, two, a little less than 2.5 mil to the outside area here, and I don't understand how this is a hell hell this is supposed to even stay on here um no sorry I, I mean, i'm not really real comfortable so i'm gonna do something i'm gonna do something a little different here I'm actually uh, i think the customer wants me to repair it i'm gonna go do something ahead uh, go go a step ahead for him and i'm actually gonna design him a bottom plate that's gonna be better than this and it'll still use his his product here um actually let me just do this instead um really don't like this at all the carbon fiber is what bothers me it just concerns me because a person can get pretty injured like that uh let me see watch watch that person be me that's the thing so that's what i'm not not too thrilled about but let me just I'm not thrilled at all actually because i have a feeling i'm gonna end up getting a couple splinters working on this um i mean i get the big screws and all but this is what what ends up happening is that this stuff just basically takes away from the carbon fiber itself i mean if you realize how much carbon fiber had to be re removed to make these things fit and the question then comes well how effective is the carbon fiber i mean you know what are you gaining from putting something like this on here um it's not that we've reduced weight by any means uh, i mean it's it, maybe we have reduced some but i mean this is still a heavy piece uh so what we're gonna do is i don't know just this is where i think Oh, you just got to wonder what the heck is going on. So we're going to, um, I'm going to gut this. God, look at that. I mean, like, that's terrible. That right there, the splitters alone from that would be brutal. Okay, so, I mean, they've given you these two pieces, which are probably the strongest pieces of this entire setup, except that when these, because these have all the weight, when they tweak, they're going to tweak against these smaller pieces. So what, what the, what's the point? I have no idea. Um, so now it's to figure out how to, how to actually work on this here. Uh, so what I need is I need this bottom plate. Man, I'm not looking forward to this at all, but I'm actually kind of intrigued to see how far we can take it to maybe make this a little bit better. Well, modified at least. I mean, you know, aftermarket never hurt anybody, especially when you do it to cars and stuff. We're going to try to do it to this drone because I don't, I don't, I don't like what I'm seeing. God darn it. Okay, so there's one piece, and there's splinters. There's splinters. Of carbon fiber this is this ridiculous i don't know why that's so small um now let's take the next piece oh i'm just waiting for my splinter and i am going to have a customer i think coming up here in just a minute so if we get interrupted i apologize i will stop the video and then come back to it but right now i'm just really curious about this so so let's go ahead and not looking forward to this at all actually so let's see so the idea here would be to make something that can fit this setup, but is just more practical. I mean, more reliable. And this thing is just ripped to shreds. And, and in doing so, because it broke there, it snapped all the wires and everything else. You can see the carbon fiber delaminating. I mean, it's split. Okay. And because carbon fiber is conductive, if any of those pieces touch any live active area, well, then you're screwed because you can short that out too. So let's see if we can just improve what's here. I don't, I don't get it. This isn't.
hell's beeping? Oh my god, the, the finder's beeping. You see, that scares me. Just out of the blue, it starts beeping. That... I mean, why? Hold on. Okay. So now, we've got the screws out. Okay. So here's this piece with these massive cutouts. I don't even know why. So let's let's start piecing this together, I suppose. Uh, no, like this. Yeah, that looks like it fits better like that, I guess. I don't know. And then, oh my goodness, we still have this crap right here. Oof. This is a problem. Okay, let me get my watch off here. <sighs> all right. So let's remove all of these. Actually, we'll just take the bottom piece off for now. Try to get the plate here. What are we stuck to still? Um, should be out here. We're out here. So we must be taped. Oh, there we go. I see. This is a mess. Okay, so now I guess I'll have to disconnect these. So let me. I think there definitely needs to be discussion here between, okay, everybody wants lighter because it's supposed to be, I don't know, easier on the quad, easier on the flight time. Obviously you're not moving as much weight, but there's a point where you trade off for quality and you trade off for reliability and durability so what I don't understand is how much lighter do you want to get I mean, these things snap like crazy I don't think I've seen something snap where the entire center has come out I mean that's just maybe that's a first for me but I'm not used to I used to seeing that happen there's a million noises happening right now on my phone sure what's going on but let's just go ahead and oh my goodness everybody stop writing me a minute please all right okay oh you gotta be kidding me look at this this whole thing's been shredded okay i keep getting these little splinters in my hand i can i can feel them all right is that it Yep, there's the, yikes, that's not good. Okay. Oh boy, okay, 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 okay. Now, what do we have here? Hodgepodge goes together here. So, let me get all these and put them away. Oh my God, it's like this is like I think something. Yeah, the screw fell. That's okay. All right. So we have above and below here. I just don't understand here is missing a piece or I'm just not this right. Yeah, 
you know what? It doesn't matter. This is a bunch of insanity. So let me grab something here just so I can understand the length here and everything else. Okay, so we have one, and then we have the arms. Look at this. My God, we're going to have to rebuild all this. Oh, this is going to be a headache. But what's more concerning is what the hell happened? So. is here and then this would be here so the question I have is, is what the hell is this attached to is this here here no maybe like that I guess that can't be right what about this one no that can't be right so this one that's right I think okay so there's that Which would then mean that this would go like here. And I think that's right also. So this would go like this. So it's two layered. Oh my gosh. 20 mil, 20 mil, 25 mil. This is the old, this is the original Day C style frame. I don't understand why they tiered it like that. That's, this isn't how it was supposed to be done, at least not for integrity. This won't last, and I think we're seeing that right now. So, and on top of that, what the hell did they do here? So, so this tears. Okay. Well, this is not happening. So, what we're going to do is we're going to redesign this, and we're not going to. We're not going to st uh, stagger it. That's that's one of the biggest things that I, I didn't like about that was that you had to stagger it, which really made no sense because um, when you tested it for strength, it, would, it wouldn't last, and the thing would just snap. And obviously here, it's doing the same thing. So what we're going to do is this. I mean, outside of the fact that everything's been gutted, uh, let's go ahead and remove the top plate. All right. I mean, this is, this is what I, I guess I kind of enjoy to do this part is, you know, you, you uh, kind of like to remake something, even make it better. All right, we're going to set this thing with the whole fish head look over there. <laughs> yeah, I remember this very well. Okay, so we are talking about spanning from here. Okay, so we're going to span this. We're going to draw it out. Eesh. Okay. Um, so that I don't get stuck. Let me go ahead and turn that off. Let's do it like this, shall we?
small screw in here so I can hopefully hold this in place. so bad like this 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 is waiting to give me a splinter I know it I'm so not happy about it but I am really wanting to help this customer out too so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try my best not to hurt myself while also trying to line this up All right, well, it's off to the drawing board, so I'll be back in just a minute. I'm going to go throw this on the machine and try to CAD this up, come up with something that doesn't suck. See you guys.
back now looking at this uh, build. And you're going to hear some noise in the background. These guys are working back here. Let me show you. So they got the crew back here getting ready to do some AC work. You see them in the background. Uh, I guess I can point it like right there and right there. Getting ready to add some more AC in here for us. So it's going to be a little noisy. Uh, but let me go ahead and just get back to what we're doing. So uh, if you remember correctly, we were uh, doing the frame on this Recon 5. And I decided to go ahead. I wanted to redo this because this thing snapped. So these are the pieces that snapped right here, right? So if you look at all these pieces, okay, and it's just really weak. It's one and a half millimeters of carbon fiber. So what I decided was I had redrawn the bottom plate to make it a solid plate. Um, and uh, and uh, so that looks like that's going to that's gonna work pretty good. There's a couple things I want to change, though. One of them is going to be that I'm going to go ahead and make this bottom piece here to where it actually stretches. It brings in the holes, okay? So we're going to Basically what I want to do is I want to avoid these two pieces being the only two pieces that hold the arms on. I want this piece here to be held by these bolts. And the way it originally was done was these were cut big enough so that the head of the screw could fit through. But I don't care anymore. I want to uh, I'd rather extend the screw five millimeters and um, have a four more points to hold this carbon fiber together, which will hold the arms in place better. So I'm going to go back now and look at this the way it looks like it's going to go measuring it out that's one thing we need to do is we need to see how it fits so we're going to go ahead and test this out so let me go ahead and just get a couple of screws here doesn't really matter the length of the screw we just want to see the fit at this point let's do this all right so far it looks like it fits pretty good i mean it's an initial drawing so it could be off a few millimeters here and there but we're going to test it real quick all right the other thing is that because the standoffs are five millimeters smaller in the back because they had this as a two-piece um, we're going to change that and probably extend the uh, get five millimeter longer standoffs so that we don't have to have this as a two piece. And then what we'll do is we'll put the arms um, at the bottom. Okay, so the way this thing so that part so far looks pretty good. And then what we'll do is we can put this on here, all right, just like this. Okay, and then what we want to do is we want to see how our cut lines up. So. It's, it looks like it's pretty close. I'm just going to use a long screw right now. Um, I think it's pretty close here. I think that that's actually... So I'm just going to try to get this to pair up because I didn't grab a 25 mil. So I think that's going to be fine there. And then I'll do another long one at the back just to see if that pairs up pretty good. Now, understanding 3 millimeter, Man, they're knocking the crap out of stuff. Anyways, so looks like this. I think that we've got ourselves a pretty good uh, setup here, okay, to, to move forward. This fits up front real nicely. Um, and so then the idea is to put the arms, this is such a hodgepodge of mess. Um, so the idea here would be to actually put the arms underneath them, right? I don't, I don't have to put them uh, inside, but if I do put them inside, then I'll put the reinforcement plate on the top. I just don't see why that should be a big issue at this point. So we will have a little bit of extra gap here. Um, and I don't think that's going to be too much of an issue, to be honest with you. This, I, I could put the arms on the inside, so let me just see. I just want it to be very strong and reinforced, and I'm not so sure we're going to accomplish that this way, but let's just see what we end up with, okay? So if we put the arms... All right, let's just get this and let's sell this crap here. Um, okay, I'll tell you what, let's go ahead. We might as well desolder some of these things anyway. So if it's sitting like this talking about putting the arms on the inside then right and then we could put a reinforcement plate here see uh, and I guess that would still that would still be pretty solid uh, but if we put it underneath it would be solid as well so um, my goal here is to put a three millimeter plate on the bottom I'm gonna make this out of three mil right so then even if we do do this right just like this it would it would the arms would go and then this piece would go here right in between and then you would come in with everything else um, it might be okay that might work too uh, we just want to make sure we reinforce it somehow the other option is to go underneath the frame like this right change it up and go underneath and then put this reinforcement plate here still utilize the screws the big bolts that they have but then also utilize uh, these as well and go straight in through there um, So I don't know if that's going to be too much of an issue. I like it. I think I really do. It's just that it will leave If you look at this here, it will leave now you'll have 20 
Let's see, you'll have yeah, about 25 mil. So it'll give you 25 mil of space, which has a little, a little more than what you're probably used to. But so this is a 20 mil, I think. Let me check this one. Let me just kind of. I got my magnet stuck here. So let's just see. So we have, yeah, that's a 20 mil. So it'll give us a 25 mil, which I don't know. I mean, if we go this way, everything can stay at 20 mil, I guess. And if we go this way, everything can go to 25 mil. Um, well, actually, no, it doesn't have to. Hold on a second. So if I put the arms on the inside, first let me just go ahead and desolder these things because we're going to have to lay the components on anyway. So let's take one, two, and three. There. I don't have to worry about this anymore. So we can just line those wires up and tuck them away, right? Okay. So now let's look at the uh, ESC here and see what we've got. Okay, so if we put the arms inside, like this, right? And then we put this plate right here, okay? We tighten that down, and then we bring in this. So we're talking about... We're talking about coming in about taking an additional three mil out. So if we put this and this, and then this piece goes here, let's just say, like this. So let's say we can clear that. Somehow this is gonna fit. We got three. So we got five plus three is gonna be eight. Plus five is 15. And I think we might have to go 25 mil on that. It's gonna be very close. Um, it would keep the arms inside though, which would be a pretty good thing. But I think it's going to make it very close. On the other side, on the other hand, if we go underneath, then we could keep it fine at 20. That's 25, right? Yeah. So 25 is here. Well, if you're used to 25 here, you'll be fine the whole way through, actually. So I'm not worried about it then. So let's just do that. I, w I would have liked to have brought these in, but what the reason we have to know now is because it makes a difference on how we cut these holes. See, because we've got to cut, if the plate is going to go on the bottom, then we've got to cut the holes uh, bigger, actually, on the bottom than the top. If the plate's going on top, then we've got to cut the other piece. So let me see. So these are too small to fit here, but this is how it would go. And these would fit here, and they're definitely too small to fit on these holes. So we need to make these bigger. So let's try that. Let's try this, because if this is on here and it's tight, that would snap the frame. This would give you room on the outside. And then you would put this other plate here. five and then we're gonna go three that's eight then we're gonna set this off by about three so we've got we've got it's four mil okay so four and then we've got So we got four, three, add another two, so that's five, plus three. Four, three, seven, two, nine, five, fourteen. And then the next board is gonna be here.
we'll put the arms on the inside. For, I guess, I don't know actually. Hold on. Yeah, I'll put the arms on the outside. I'll put them underneath. Let's try that. We'll see how this does. So put them under here. Okay, which means that this is the top screw, so this has to go in here. So we need to make this hole smaller by just a little bit, probably. And we need to make this hole bigger by a little bit on here. All right, so we're going to go draw that up.
guys, there you have it. It is the final, that's it. It's finished, it's built. Uh, this is the, keep getting this on, we've got this uh, silicone, it's still wet, so I keep getting it on everything I touch here, but uh, so it is done, we have tested everything out. Uh, we had a little issue with the camera there, it turned out that was just a part on the board that needed to be fixed. Uh, it is fixed, we didn't have to replace it. And so what we've done, as you can see, is this is the old piece here. This is the one and a half inch uh, carbon fiber, one and a half millimeter, sorry, carbon fiber. And what we did is we replaced it with, we uh, drew this one up here, and that is three millimeter carbon fiber, and it is a unibody base, so it's not two pieces. This sucker is not moving. Plus we created a three millimeter carbon fiber a reinforcement plate below right here. So you've got three millimeter here, you've got four millimeters in the arms, you've got three millimeters on the bottom. And so seeing things that break like this, you can see where it's breaking, it's delaminating all this, this is the old carbon fiber. So we just made it stronger and everything is running perfect now. So there you guys go. That is the custom design right there. And we drew it up just for this customer, but now we're gonna offer this to anybody else. So if anybody wants to reinforce the Recon 5 with a better carbon fiber base plate, you let us know and you can take it to a, all you have to do is get four 25 millimeter uh, standoffs, which will supply you one base plate and one reinforcement plate. I would like to see this longer. I would like to see the, uh, the red screw here longer, but it, what we did different is there is a four millimeter uh, spacer. Sorry, uh, you can see there now, there's a four millimeter spacer uh, here and here, and then again, here and here. So we can, we reinforce this and tighten it even more by sending these four uh, screws at the bottom that, that go straight through to hold the, um, this goes straight through to hold the flight controller and ESC in place, okay? So that's it. It looks great. It works. Everything's working back to normal. Thing went from being cut in pieces to working properly. So if you have any questions, guys, let me know. You can always hit us up. Follow us on our YouTube channel right there, please. Always appreciate that. Uh, subscribe to it. And then if you have any questions, you can always go to our groups, Facebook groups right there. All right, guys. Other than that, God bless. Be safe. And we will see you for the next repair. Talk to you soon.